guys, Kim here, and you are tuned into Kim E, the Diabetes MP, a place where nurse practitioners can come and learn more about diabetes education and management. Now, today, we're going to finish up our five part series. We have discussed moderation, adherence, activity, preparation, and today we're going to be talking about SWEET. Now, this is an acronym that I came up with called MAPS to help our patients be able to map out a great holiday. Just because you're a diabetic does not mean that you can't have a great quality of life and that you can't enjoy your life and especially that you can't enjoy the holidays. And so I felt like it was only right that I can sit here with you guys and we go through how we can help our diabetic patients navigate the holidays. Now, before we get into our last part of our series, I do want to mention to you the Diabetes Med Bootcamp. That is my new course that covers all of the drugs that manage diabetes. I have mentioned this before, but I wanna keep mentioning it to you because it is a great resource, guys. I put a lot of time and effort into it to make it exactly what it is. I get so many questions about diabetes medications and I feel like this course answers a plethora of those questions. Now this course will take you about three hours to get through, just a little bit over three hours, and it comes with over three hours of continuing education credit, contact and pharmacology. This course is accredited through AANP, so whether you are certified through AANP or ANCC, this course is eligible for your continuing education. Now, this course is also pre-recorded. It's on-demand learning, meaning that once you purchase the course, you'll be able to go through it at your own pace. So that's a really great thing as well. And so as we're going through the holidays and you have extra time on your hands, you'll have a great course where you can learn all about diabetes medications. If you are interested, I will put a link in the description box so you can learn more about it. I would love for you to check it out. Okay, sweets, desserts, let's talk about it, okay? There is this myth, and I was really shocked to see that it was still out there, that people feel like if you are a diabetic, you can't eat sweets. That is a myth, okay? Now, what I would say is a better way of wording this is that everything is not for everybody, okay? Now, your patient knows themselves, and you know your patients as well, okay? Now, everybody knows their limitations. Everybody knows their boundaries. Everybody can't really do sweets. And I'll give you an example. My mother, her thing is desserts, okay? Now, when it comes to like fried food and sodas and stuff like that. My mom has no problem turning that stuff down. But when you put a piece of cake in front of my mama, she may not have the restraint that she should she's supposed to have. And she knows that about herself. There have been many times where she has just decided to just forego desserts altogether because it's almost like the moment that she tastes that sugar, she can't say no. OK, and you need to be able to have these real conversations with your patients because they may be the person that can restrain themselves. They may very well be that person that can go and see a whole spread of desserts and say, I'm just going to try just a little bit of the banana pudding. Or they may very well be that person that's like, I want to try everything. And in that, you need to be able to help them navigate through that. And maybe possibly they should just forego the sweets. So with the myth that says if you're a diabetic, you cannot have desserts, that's not true. Okay? But going back to my previous videos about moderation and planning ahead, you know yourself. Tell your patient you know yourself better than everybody. If you know that you're not going to be able to deal with this, then don't force yourself off of the wagon, okay? You've been doing good and it is what it is, okay? Now, one thing that I do tell my patients, because I'm, I'm really big on practicals, because I think sometimes we can really talk to people in a high level, but we don't break it down. And so one of the practicals that I give people, and I've mentioned this in the previous videos in this series, is that 
Here's a practical thing. Instead of having that big chunk of, of chocolate cake with a dollop of vanilla ice cream, how about you say no to the ice cream and take just a small sliver of that chocolate cake? How about that, okay? Or if this is the person that likes to take a little bit of this and sample a little bit of that, how about you take the foods that you really like, your favorite foods, take a dollop of whatever that is, and that's it. How about instead of going back for seconds and thirds, you get one helping. Giving them some practical ways of thinking through that. And to be quite honest with you, a lot of my diabetic patients that I've come in contact with their results are not coming because they have just cut stuff completely out of their diet. Their results come from moderation, knowing what they're going to be in front of, planning ahead and saying, you know what, I only have a little piece of what I like now. And I mentioned this in a previous video that I did over the food guidelines for diabetes. And that is what that article really that I detailed. There was an article that I detailed in that video. That is what that article says. It's not that there's a perfect diet and that there's a specific diet for diabetics. No, really, the best results come when you just take away bad habits. And so having a conversation with your patients to see what are their hiccups, what is their thing, and helping them formulate a plan will definitely set them up for success. Okay, guys, we are done with the five-part series where we go through the acronym MAPS where we're helping our patients map out a great holiday season. We have covered moderation, we have covered adherence, activity, preparation, and today we finished up with sweets. If by chance you like this series and you want to see more videos like this where I talk about different diabetic topics, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and ding that notification bell. Also, hop on over to Instagram and follow me over there. You can find me at the Diabetes NP. Now, I have mentioned a ton of videos that I am going to link in the description box. I'm also going to link my Diabetes Med Bootcamp course. I would love for you to check that out. So just go to the description box and peruse down there. You're going to find something that I know that you're going to be interested in. Again, I thank you guys for tuning in. You have have been sitting here with Kim E, the Diabetes MP, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.